everybody. Of course you see me by my greenhouse. I have a question now. I have a seed question. How wet is too wet? When you plant seeds, how, how wet is too wet with the soil? Alright. I planted these peppers. There's peppers right here. Okay. Those are green peppers. And these are Hungarian hot wax peppers. That, I planted them seven days ago, and I don't know how wet is too wet for these seeds. It, they were a little wetter, and I had, I had these lids on them like this, okay? But it seemed like they were even wetter. So should, should I leave the lids on, because I don't know, and how wet is too wet for these, for the dirt to be? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm hoping that I didn't like rot out the pepper the pepper seeds. <clears throat> I mean, if I did, if I did, I have time to replant them. I have plenty of time to replant them. But how wet do you keep the soil when you plant a seed? I guess I guess that's my question. How wet does the soil need to be? Because now, in here, I have, oh, what do I have in there? Tomatoes. And then I have tomatoes in this one, too. Just two different kinds of tomatoes. I don't know. I don't know. We're winging it. And in these little things, I have lettuce, which I, I have, I put way too many seeds in the lettuce. I know I did. I know I did. And then in this thing, my granddaughter and I are doing an experiment. We just kind of put some pepper seeds in there and then onions in here. And look, look here, you can see the, the onions are starting to grow up. These were like, um, yeah, green onions. And they're starting to, they're starting to sprout out the top. I think that's cool. My husband doesn't really like onions, and I like onions. So maybe I'll do some green onions. If this works, I have some more in there in the refrigerator. I'm going to put those in there because I'm the only one that really eats them. So, well, I don't know. We're heading to Menards. My husband has a pickup to do, a wood pickup for my worm farm slash compost that I'm doing. So the wood is in, he had to order it. So we're heading to pick that up and then I'll have to show you what I did. Let me show you what I ordered. My husband and I both, our phone chargers are just starting to just break. We, they're like taped together with electrical tape right now. Well, that's starting to wear. So I thought, hmm, self. I'll just go on the Verizon website and order phone cords that I know will work with our phones. So I did that because, you know, it's, we can't go out because all the self-lockdown or the lockdown, Ohio's locked down now. So I thought, I'll just order them online instead of going to the store. Well, look what I did. Do you see this end? Little tiny end. And do you see that end? Little tiny end. Neither one of those are USB end port ends. This end goes into the phone. This end I thought was a USB to go in the charger. Well, it's not. I ordered I ordered the wrong thing. We thought we would uh, stop by the store and run those in, see if they'll exchange them in the store now because I have a 14 day return policy on these and they have to go back. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Next, after that, we're going to go to a place that it's a like a bar tavern area. It's Friday. It's fish. It's Friday. It's fish night. My parents are older and they've been locked in their house and my mom's going crazy. So I called her and I said, hey, do you want me to go? My husband and I to go to pick up fish dinners for you guys because my dad really likes fish dinners at this inn so we're gonna do that my mom's like oh yes you can do that please <laughs> so I'm gonna do that we're gonna go do our stopping we have 
stuff to take. Let me show you. Follow me this way. I have 92% alcohol in my spray bottle. That's coming. I have Clorox disinfectant wipes in a baggie in my purse. Those are coming. I've got to make sure they're not dried out. I might have to add some. And we have rubber gloves. We have gloves in the car. We have gloves in the truck. I have gloves in my purse. So that's the plan. We spray it. I spray everything off because I do have to go in Menards because I need more dirt for my plants. So I do have to do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be the crazy lady looking that's spraying her buggy down with alcohol, wearing gloves and not touching anything. I don't know. I, recently, well, not recently. I've been to stores. They, people just don't seem to care. They just grab a buggy and go. There's no protection no nothing two weeks ago i was at menards and me and one other lady i saw were only wiping our buggies down i kind of paid attention nobody else was nobody else was so it's like people need to start caring